Hi, I'm Remy with the National Latino Business Women Association, San Diego chapter, and I'm here to welcome new business elite member, Sean Aaron Cassidy from Cassidy Creative Solutions. So welcome, Sean, to NLBWA San Diego. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, such an honor. Well, uh, first question off the bat, because clearly you are not Latina and clearly you are not a woman. Mm -hmm. Tell us why you joined the organization. Well, my, my wife is Latina, so um, in the business, and she's, in, she's an entrepreneur as well, and I specialize in the internet and social media space, and so I see how she kind of struggles with that, and I assist her with that, and I thought, well, there must be a lot of other Latinas that really you know, could use this help, and I thought, well, this is the perfect uh, you know, a group, you know, business association, to connect with those people and help those people. Well, we appreciate that because the internet changes so rapidly and there's so much out there and it does, I, I know for me it's overwhelming, I know for other members they've expressed to me that it's overwhelming. So tell us, what are three things um, that you do that your business provides that can help our members um, get better with this and, and learn more? Well, um, I specialize in really, you know, one area of the internet. Mm -hmm. I, I do beta test. I beta tested LinkedIn, and I have thirty thousand contacts on wow. LinkedIn. And I, I, I do specialize in LinkedIn for business, mm -hmm. and that really allows people to get more clients and more visibility on the internet. And I train specifically on that. The other thing I actually do is is, is working in the world of viral marketing. Um, so I, I actually bring a lot of attention to businesses through the internet and how the power of the internet can bring a lot of attention to you very and, and without a lot of cost to you. Hmm. And then the, the third part of it uh, that I really uh, like to do is to network with people at high levels and train people how to network with people at high levels, meaning national or international. Wow. So I heard a story, actually I saw it online, um, about a business that you helped in Coronado uh, go viral. He helped him do something that took him viral and he was actually on national news. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, the Dan McGregor Gallery in Coronado. Um, I sometimes walk into businesses and say I'm going to assist them and you know he didn't have a lot of presence on the internet and I kind of just helped him with his strategy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, have social media strategies and everything. Uh, and then one day he gives me a call and he said I have captured an amazing image. And he actually had taken an image of the rainbow, complete rainbow over the devil. And it the was amazing. The, the hotel, 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 yeah, you know, which is a huge hotel. Yeah, internationally famous, uh -huh. historically famous hotel um, here in Corn in Coronado, in San Diego. And uh, but there was a backstory that was really more important. He told me I actually captured a wedding proposal underneath the rainbow, mm. and he knew because they had come up to him and asked them to take a picture with their own digital camera before, and said so we just got proposed. But then he, he blew it up and found oh, that's the same couple. And then he gives me a call and says I have an amazing image. What what I mean? What can I do with this? And I said we're going to take this national. And he says, well, I, I, I don't think that's going to occur, but we'll try it. And I said, I said, so what we're going to do is actually um, design it so on your Facebook and on your social media, we're going to look for this couple nationally and internationally. So using social media to find the actual couple. Right. Wow. Okay. So go on. Um, so you know, one of the real important parts of viral marketing is to connect it to people that have a high already network, right? Mm -hmm. So he was already willing with the Delta tip. Right, mm -hmm. and so they really had a people over there where they were sharing it in their own social media, mm -hmm. and they have weddings over there and all these historic things, and they really liked the idea of it. So they shared it, got shared by a hundred thousand people, wow. and then within the next two days, mm -hmm. CNN and Fox called him, and then through that area, five local media and national media were there, and then the day before Valentine's Day and on Valentine's Day, um, they actually found a couple in Philadelphia. So he was live on Fox and Friends, CNN, uh, having profiled his work. Uh, his website and the work he does in Coronado right on national TV. So a local business in San Diego using social media, mm -hmm. right, to go viral, get massive national exposure, and what has been the impact to his business as a result of that? Well recently he got offered to expand his business into the Dell, um, wow. meaning he's opening another gallery inside the Dell, mm -hmm. which is huge actually, right, I mean it's a huge uh, tourism market for him and a travel market. Um, and he's also become hyper aware of how to use social media. He had no reason before, and now he's using it on an active level to tell everybody about it. And he's cross promoting that national attention. You know, now saying that he's been on CNN, he's been on Fox, and he's all like that. And so he, he is now one of the, you know, one of the most well known photographers in Coronado, if not nationally right now. Right. And so he's going to leverage that to get even more business for himself. And the people who usually go in his gallery, they literally go and say, this is the rainbow proposal. And he has a profile there, and he has the stories of the national media there. And so it really uh, helps him close business, mm -hmm. and it helps him uh, look like, you know, very important photographer and with mm -hmm. important images. It drives people into his, his location. 
That is amazing because I think that the great thing here too, especially as entrepreneurs and small business owners, you know, we're running lean and mean, budgets are tight. And here is a great example of how a small business owner, local small business owner, actually used social media with very little um, dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And it was really time investment. Yeah, time but investment. At the end of the day, look how, how it paid off. Right? Yeah. So that is really powerful. That's a great story and, and something I would love to see happen with our members. So we look forward to engaging um, with other members. So you're a business owner, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're an entrepreneur as well. And tell us three ways that our members can actually help you right now. Like what, what are your needs and how, and how can we help? There's three work? people, I, uh, you know, angles I really like to collaborate mm -hmm. with. I like to work with people that are highly technical because I'm really a marketer. Mm -hmm. So the people that know how to program and design computers and how to do HTML and all those things, I really like to collaborate with them. Okay, so right? website designers and programmers. Right, okay. yeah, I really like to, you know, kind of, people that have that kind of specialized technical, tech, stuff. technical skills, right? Okay. Um, people that are really d gifted at design, mm -hmm. right? You mean be, being design related to the internet or design in general, because how things are seen there visually are really important on the internet. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. And then the last uh, really ones I like to do is to work with people that are really connected already in the community. Mm -hmm. So they can really kind of put the word out about what I do. You know, and, and I think that kind of collaboration, which is like what the association is really about, mm -hmm. is really important for a business to do that, to collaborate with people that are already, you know, already heavy collaborators. Right, and you're, you're getting out there more on the speaking tip, right? So for you, it is about um, public speaking opportunities within other organizations and, and companies. Yeah, right? and that's one of the major reasons okay. to do that collaboration. I do like to do a lot of uh, corporate, nonprofit, and business organizations and speak about what I do and how I do it. Right. You know, and that's really valuable to me. Well, Sean, welcome again to the organization. We look forward to seeing you out and then also members collaborating with Sean and Sean is wanting to collaborate with you.